You know how it goes. Ready? Hey! Ho! That was weak. Hey! Ho! That was weak again. Hey! Ho! why I love Jesus because he's love God is love Jesus hung on the cross for my sins he had nine inch nails about that big you know stabbed into his hand hanging like this like this bleeding so we don't have to having the wounds so we don't have to hurting because we don't have to I don't think you guys grasp hold of how powerful God really is and who he is we get this image of, oh, he's just the guy in the picture frame on your grandma's house, you know? The guy on the cross that we wear on our neck. Or even the guy that you come up here and you just raise your hand, but you don't know what it means. You're just like, oh, me. You know? Um, from where I come from, I, my mom had me young. You know, I just transferred from grandparent to grandparent, and I never really, did my, never really had a relationship with my dad or my mom. It was hard. I grew up just not really understanding what love was. I never really got that attention, and I never really heard the words, I love you, from my own parents. And it's hard because you live with them, and yet all you do is you just want to please them, and you want them just to say, oh, I'm proud of you. And today, this generation, you know, we go home to the broken homes, the divorced families, the hurting. Just you go home, and you just you cry in your room, and you just are looking for that hope. You're looking just for love. Love covers it all. It's your strength, it's your comfort, and it's what you want. That's all you want is love. God is love. That's all he is. He's powerful, but he's mostly love. And once you encounter that love, you guys are going to go out in that world and you're going to change the world. I don't care what anyone else has told you. All the words saying you're worthless, you're nothing, you're not going to do anything. You're, we're just teenagers, you know, we... We go out and we do drugs and we just party and we just cuss all the time. And you're just horrible. You're not going to do anything. That's lies. It's lies from the enemy. Like last week, it's not me, it's you. The enemy just wants your, he has your generation. And he's scared because he knows that we have the power to turn it back. Mm. Um, where it, me, I just escaped. I escaped to drugs. I escaped to just, I had a really bad depression and... I was just looking for something. Something was missing in my life, and I would just fill, fill those voids with other things. And it didn't take a church service. It didn't take me coming down to the altar one youth night. It took a, just a soul encounter with the Holy God of just Him filling me in with love. I didn't have to do anything. It was just a random night. I was just sitting on my bed just thinking, what have I gotten myself into? And I just start crying and crying, and I can't even stop. And all of a sudden, I just get this realization of, I am loved. I am a daughter of the Most High. And you guys have so much potential. You guys have so much value. And you have so much power to go out there and talk to a friend. If you see someone who's crying in your class, maybe you can step out of your comfort zone. You know, the little box that we put ourselves in. And just step out and be, oh, hey, what's wrong? Can we talk? It took a, one of my friends who wasn't afraid to come talk to me. She wasn't afraid to ask me, oh, how's your day going? It was, she wasn't afraid to pray for me. It took that one person to lead me to the love of God, and you guys have the same power. The girl you see walking on your campus with long sleeves, hiding her scars, you know, just sad. You can go up to her and talk to her, and I guarantee you her life will be turned around because you have power by the love of God and by the blood of Jesus who bled on that cross for your sins. If you just let it all go, just let all your life go and just give it all to Jesus and he will encounter you, I promise you that. I promise you. That is why I love Jesus.